The United Nations Children's Fund has said it is targeting vaccinating 90% of girls aged 9 to 14 by December 2024 as part of collaborative efforts against human papillomavirus HPV infection among girls and women in the country. UNICEF Health Specialist Dr. Ijoma Agbo made the call during the two-day media dialogue on HPV vaccine. Agbo said vaccination against HPV has shown to be effective in preventing persistent infection with high-risk types, which are the primary cause of cervical cancer. So there's the 90, 70, 90 um, target. The 90% is that, of course, this is a primary prevention. So we are hoping that at least 90% um, vaccination target is reached when it comes to HPV vaccine. Now, I mentioned that there are other strategies for, you know, eliminating cervical cancer. One of it is in terms of screening. And we're expecting that, you know, to, for early in diagnosis, we preach screening, that 70% of eligible women are screened for um, HPV um, virus. And then the remaining, you know, 90, 70, 90, 90 is in terms of those that are found to have precautious lesions or anything that they are treated on time and of course in terms of palliative care and all so our responsibility is to tell people that look there's there's hope right now lives can be saved we can actually protect ourselves and our loved ones from getting cervical cancer and that's because the hp vaccine is here and is accessible is available and for all those within that age 9 to 15 of uh, 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 girls they should go and take advantage of this. And then at the end of the day, we will be happy that we have done, we have done this because we will see less costs on treatment, we will see less morbidity, we will see less mortality. And we know that this, while doing this, we might think we're only just providing health, but also fighting poverty in, in the other way around. So we need to ensure that all eligible girls get these vaccines. And we all must support the cause of raising awareness to debunk myths and misconceptions that limit vaccine trust and uptake in the state. So myths like the population, that the vaccines are meant to depopulate the country, um, to stop people from getting fatal, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rumor, it's not a fact. Because even when we see governments um, build roads, build um, amenities, it's for the citizens to use it. So there's no way the government would limit or depopulate the country and still build amenities for is our citizens to actually use. What need to understand is this, it's a new vaccine. There would be rumors, there would be misconceptions. Um, the intentions would be misconstrued. The state needs to be one step ahead of it. You need to go to the grassroots, you need to get a feel of the community you need to hear what is being said as regards the product that you are bringing which is a vaccine you need to understand the context of their fears and respond appropriately risk communication should not all be scientific but it should also be bringing in the human-centered way of responding to these problems to so understand why they are having these uh, misconceptions and let them understand that the risk um, this, this, this uh, fears that they have is not, um, yes, it's understandable to have a fear because it's new, but what the vaccine that is being introduced would definitely be a game changer.